Hi, this is Lynn. Um, we are uh, under stay at home here, and I have um, an amazingly huge amount of coconut milk in my cabinets. And generally, I'll make curry with it with the coconut milk, but I'm just looking for something else that I can do with the coconut milk. So uh, easy, um, you know, having to use ingredients that are obviously, you know, already kind of staples in a pantry, mm -hmm. but would love to know what other um, recipes or ideas uh, I can come up with. Thanks so much. Bye. That's a good, I have a lot of coconut milk too. Do you, <laughs> I have cans and cans of coconut milk. It's such a great thing to have right now, right? Because like in milk, you kind of want to save for, you know, coffee and cereal and all that stuff. And coconut milk like can stay on your shelf for years and it gets great richness, great flavor. But what would you do? I would do, I would make, um, I mean, right now I'm looking out the window and it's kind of gray. I would make a Thai um, soup. I would make a Tom Yum, you know, with chicken stock. Mm. And well, I mean, you're not going to, I mean, you don't, I probably, I don't have lemongrass, but um, I would, you could maybe, maybe I would do like a mashup of whatever I did have. Like maybe I would do chicken broth and chilies and I have lots of cilantro. Um, mm. And I just simmer that and it'd be great with some mushrooms. And so you just, you simmer it and then you add the coconut, you simmer it with the chicken stock. You've got your aromatics, um, maybe a stir anise, garlic, um, chili, and then you add the coconut milk. And if you have mushrooms, you can add that. Mushrooms are fantastic or shredded up pieces of chicken or you could add rice. Yeah. Um, also rice pudding. Rice pudding made with coconut milk is so soothing <laughs> and so yummy. And uh, You love rice pudding so You know how much. I feel about rice pudding. I love rice pudding. It's true. I always <laughs> talk about rice pudding. I'm, I feel like I, I talk about rice pudding maybe a little too much. <laughs> I love it. I'm down. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Or what about using it for French toast instead of regular milk? When you make French toast, if you have bread, it oh, is, man. That is a good one. You know, um, take your coconut milk and your eggs and you beat it together. Um, and then, you know, I usually add vanilla extract. But if I'm using coconut milk, maybe I would add almond extract instead, you know, kind mm. of play it in that like a little more of a high like nuttiness. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, you can also make um, the the, um, the Filipino chicken dish that um, I'm blanking. Oh, adobo? Adobo, yeah. And that's really easy. Um, and that oh I always finish it's with so coconut good. milk. Although you don't, you know, there are certain adobo recipes that don't use coconut milk, but that one is, um, you can put coconut milk in the end. And if you have a chicken that's in your freezer, that might be um, an interesting thing to do with it. Uh, the thing about that is um, it's like a long simmered dish. So you plan that one ahead. Yeah. But like, not difficult. Like, okay, so chicken adobo is super regional in the Philippines, but a lot of the recipes I see are very, like, it's literally, you braise it in, one part soy sauce with one part vinegar. Right? Yeah, vinegar, like, soy, and very, ginger. I think that's it, right? Yeah. And garlic. Like it sounds like so much vinegar, but it, like the, the acid sort of cooks off as it simmers. It comes out this really beautifully balanced thing. And then, yeah, finish that with a little coconut milk. And that is delicious with rice. Yeah. I mean, do you, I, you know, when I make it, I don't usually put the coconut milk in, but sometimes I do. And um, mm. I love it with the coconut milk because you're right. It just kind of cuts it. But you don't want to use a strong vinegar. You want to use like, a, I think... Actually, I think coconut vinegar is the traditional, but I usually do it with um, cane vinegar or white wine vinegar, depending on what I have. Yeah. 